A black judge is denied entry into court by white police officers. What she did next left everyone stunned. Judge Brianna Carter was well known for her unwavering sense of justice and her ability to remain calm under pressure. As one of the youngest African-American judges in the city, she had built a stellar reputation for herself in her early 40s. Today, she was preparing to oversee one of the most high-profile cases of her career. What she didn't know was that this day would change her life in a way she never expected. The morning started like any other. Brianna stood in front of her bedroom mirror, adjusting her judicial robe with precision. Her long, dark braids were neatly pulled back, and her brown eyes reflected her resolve. Today's case involved a wealthy CEO accused of large-scale fraud, and the media frenzy surrounding it had been intense. Although the pressure was immense, Brianna had never let it affect her judgment. She was ready for the challenge. After grabbing her usual coffee from her favorite neighborhood cafe, she arrived at the Hallbrook Courthouse earlier than usual. The golden light of dawn was just breaking through the clouds, casting long shadows on the courthouse steps. As she walked toward the entrance, she noticed a group of police officers clustered near the gates. Given the nature of the case, the increased security didn't surprise her, but the way they stared at her did. One officer, a tall, broad-shouldered man with a stern face, stepped forward, blocking her path. Ma'am, this area is restricted. You'll need to leave, he said curtly, his tone leaving no room for negotiation. Brianna frowned, confused. I'm Judge Carter, she replied, standing taller. I'm here to preside over today's hearing. The officer's eyes scanned her skeptically, his expression barely hiding his disdain. You're a judge, he said, voice dripping with disbelief. I've never seen a judge look like you, and they don't walk to work either. Brianna felt her stomach drop. She had faced covert racism many times before, but this was blatant. She steadied her breath, trying to control her rising anger. I assure you, I am Judge Brianna Carter. My courtroom is inside, and I'm scheduled to start proceedings in less than an hour. Now please step aside. The officer, whose name tag read Officer Davis, crossed his arms defiantly. Look, I don't care who you say you are. We've got orders, and I'm not letting anyone in without clearance. Brianna could feel her patience wearing thin. She had fought too hard to get where she was to be treated like this. I don't need clearance, she said, her voice hardening. This is my courthouse, and I have a duty to perform. If you don't let me through, I'll have to report this. Davis smirked. Report it to who? You? I doubt anyone's going to care what some random woman thinks. By now, a small crowd had gathered, watching the confrontation unfold. Brianna could feel their eyes on her, the whispers growing louder. She wasn't just being blocked from entering the courthouse. She was being publicly humiliated. I have my identification, she said, pulling out her judicial ID from her briefcase and holding it up. Davis glanced at it briefly before tossing it back to her with a mocking smile. Nice try, he sneered. Anybody could have faked that. You're still not going in. Brianna's heart pounded in her chest. She clenched her fists, her fingernails pressing into her palms. This wasn't just about her anymore. It was about every black woman who had ever been doubted, dismissed, or disrespected. I'm calling the courthouse, she said through clenched teeth, pulling out her phone. She quickly dialed her clerk, Karen, who answered immediately. Karen, it's Judge Carter. There seems to be some confusion with security. Can you come down and help clarify? Within minutes, Karen appeared at the courthouse entrance, her face full of concern. Judge Carter, I'm so sorry this is happening, she said, glaring at Davis and the other officers. This is completely unacceptable. Davis's smug grin faded as Karen held up her own identification. This is Judge Brianna Carter, she announced loudly, turning to the crowd. You've made a serious mistake. Davis blinked, his expression shifting from arrogance to discomfort. But before he could speak, another voice cut through the tension. What's going on here? The voice belonged to Chief Judge Edward Harrison, Brianna's superior, and one of the most influential figures in the legal world. Brianna took a deep breath, still trying to calm the adrenaline coursing through her veins. Chief Judge Harrison, this officer has been refusing to allow me into the courthouse despite my repeated explanations, she said, keeping her tone steady. Chief Judge Harrison's face hardened as he turned to Davis. Officer, do you realize who you've just insulted? 
Judge Carter is one of the most accomplished judges in this city, and you've just disrespected her in front of witnesses. Davis opened his mouth to respond, but no words came out. He stood there red-faced and stunned. I, I didn't realize. That's exactly the problem, Harrison said coldly. You didn't take the time to find out. You saw a black woman and assumed she couldn't possibly be someone of authority. And now you've embarrassed not just yourself, but this court. Brianna stood silently, watching the scene unfold. A part of her wanted to demand justice, to make Davis answer for his prejudice. But she knew that reacting in anger wouldn't change the root of the problem. Chief Judge, Brianna said softly but firmly, I appreciate your support, but I would like to handle this situation personally. Harrison looked at her surprised. Are you sure, Judge Carter? She nodded. Yes, I believe it's necessary. He stepped aside, giving her the floor. Brianna turned to Davis, who was shifting nervously, avoiding her gaze. Officer Davis, she began, her voice steady. Your job is to protect the public, not to judge them based on appearance. I shouldn't have to prove my worth or my position to you or anyone else. Your assumption about me today speaks more to your biases than it does to my qualifications. Davis swallowed, his face reddening with embarrassment. I, I'm sorry, Judge Carter. I didn't mean, Brianna raised a hand, stopping him. This isn't just about me, she continued. This is about every person who looks like me and faces this kind of discrimination daily. It's about making sure that people like you understand that justice doesn't have a face, a gender, or a skin color. The crowd murmured in agreement, some people even clapping softly. I don't need your apology, Officer Davis, Brianna said, her tone softer now, but no less firm. What I need is for you to reflect on why you made the assumption you did and to make sure it never happens again. With that, Brianna turned and walked toward the courthouse, her head held high. Chief Judge Harrison followed, casting a final look of disapproval at Davis before disappearing into the building. Later that day, as Brianna presided over the embezzlement case, she maintained her usual poise and focus. But the incident outside the courthouse lingered in her mind, a stark reminder that, no matter how far she had come, the fight for equality was far from over. Yet as always, she was ready for the challenge.